Okay, so you're going to take a 7 8 inch socket. We're going to come over here, and while the vehicle's still on the ground, we're going to break these lug nuts loose. So we're not removing them, we're just putting them on and uh, giving them about a quarter, a quarter of a turn. Just go around to each one so that they're all just broken loose. You may also need your lug nut key if you have a locking lug nut like this. So just use that and just break that one loose as well. Next, we just lifted the vehicle into the air. Doesn't have to go too high, just get the wheel off the ground. And to do that, we lifted with the jack on the frame there and then put the jack stand here. Next, remove all the lug nuts and we're just gonna lift the wheel off and set it aside. Next, we're gonna take an 18 millimeter socket and remove this bolt here and this one down here. And so those hold the brake on here. So we're gonna remove those, slide this off and set it down on a bucket so it doesn't hang by the brake lines. Okay, so we have our 18 millimeter socket on there. Now just remember, you're looking at the bolt backwards, so we're going to be turning it that way, which is lefty loosey. So sometimes you get a little confused. And we're turning it counterclockwise, so we're going to push it uh, that way. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom one, and the same thing. In this case, it's going downward, so we're going to take a, a weight too. It helps if you want to give it a whack if they get pretty stiff, and that helps break them loose. Little tip on the driver's side, since this has to go up, you can put a jack under it and gently lift to break that one loose. So just something you can do if it's tight. Now since we're working on the rear brakes, you want to make sure that the brake is released. So push on it and make sure that they're not locked up. Okay, so once you remove both of these bolts, now you'll be able to slide the caliper off. We're just going to set it on this bucket. And this is why your brakes are squeaking. You can see that the clip here, when it wears down to the point where the brake pad is now beyond the clip, the clip will rub against the brake and make a noise so you know that something's wrong. And so that's why it's making squeaking sounds. It's to warn you that something's wrong, which in this case these are worn down too much. Okay, so with using our tool, we're going to keep the inner one on and we're just going to pop this one out. So you just push on it and it'll come off of the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're going to pry this little tab here that's holding the brake pad in. We're going to pry that down and then the brake pad is just going to come like this and come out. Okay, so we pried that one out, pried that one down. Now the pad, you can kind of wiggle it out of here. Okay, and sometimes it helps to get a screwdriver just kind of to help pry that out. But we just pried it out like that. And so there's the brake pad. Now this next step is very important. You want to come under here and pop the hood. Okay, so in the engine bay here, this is the brake master cylinder reservoir. And so we have to remove this cap. And uh, the reason why is because we're going to be pushing the fluid back up in to the reservoir. And if the cap's on, it will overpressurize it and could damage this. So as we compress the caliper back there, it's going to allow the fluid just to freely come into the reservoir. Okay, so we left that pad in. We next inserted our piece here for our brake compressor tool. And now we're just going to thread it through here until it contacts. Okay, so this is now contacting the old pad and you can see why this is important. So it's not tearing up anything, it's just eating into the old pad. And as we turn this, it's pushing this piston back in. Otherwise, the new brakes uh, won't fit.
Okay, so we compress that piston all the way in. We even turned this vertical, that seemed to help just to get it in uh, as far as we wanted, but it uh, doesn't have to be too bad. Just make sure that it's kind of flush. And so as you can see now, this piston has now been pushed back in and the new brake pads that are thicker are gonna fit in here and still go back on. Okay, next we're just gonna pop this uh, old clip out. So just pry it forward and wiggle it out. Okay, we're just gonna fit this down in here now, the new clip that it comes with. Okay, so they'll fit down right in there. Take a little wiggling, but you'll know when they are sit in there just like a nice puzzle piece. Do the same with the top, pull it out, pull it forward. Okay, just pulled that one out, putting the other one in the same way. So it's just going to fit up in here. Okay, so that's in. It uh, did help to also get a screwdriver through here and just kind of put it in place like that. Okay, next we're taking our new pads here. That's the side that touches the disc, of course. Uh, this is the back side and uh, we're going to put some grease on the back of it so whenever it touches metal from the brakes compressing it doesn't squeak. You'll notice uh, the little wear bar here like the one that was uh, causing the sound that goes on the inside uh, so that's how you can tell which one it goes and I'll show you that again in a minute. But we're going to go ahead and just put some grease on here. Okay so we put our grease on the back there Again, this is the wear bar side, so this is this inner side, and so we're just going to put it right inside here on both sides. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and bend that tab all the way out of the way on the top and the bottom, then you'll slide that uh, brake pad right in. So, just to show you again, on this side, you're just going to grab these side clips. Okay, you're gonna take it and bend it all the way out of the way so that you can just slide the pad right in. Okay, because these will keep you from getting the pad in there. So we're just bending them down and we're gonna just put the pad right in. Okay, got our grease on the back side of the pad. Okay, I'll just put it right in. Okay, then you can bend those clips back in if you want. If they snap off, I really wouldn't even be too concerned about it, to tell you the truth. And so now we're just gonna pick up the caliper and slide it right back onto the rotor. Gonna get some brake parts cleaner and clean the mating surfaces here so there's no grease on them. Okay, next we're putting some blue thread locker on the bolts. Okay, so we slid this right back on. We're just putting our 18 millimeter bolts back through the back. And so you're just gonna line them up into those holes, top and bottom. Okay, just keep an eye on this brake fluid reservoir throughout the process. If you had to add a lot of fluid from the brakes uh, wearing down, and now uh, you know, you're know you putting new brakes in and compressing it back up, it might overflow. So you'll wanna mop it up or spray it out with a bottle. And uh, when you're done, just make sure you replace the cap. Okay, now reinstall the wheel. Make sure you hand uh, thread these lug nuts before driving them on and get them all the way uh, snug. Make sure the wheel's centered. And then we're gonna tighten this down, usually about 135 foot-pounds or so for these trucks. And uh, so you're gonna go every other lug nut in the star pattern like that. So this one, that one, this one, that one, that one, this one and then just do it a few times.